A proposal to ban backpacks and bags during big events on the Strip is moving forward. Metro's asking for an ordinance so they can ticket people who don't cooperate with that proposed rule. 8 News Now anchor Paul Johnson live near the Strip with details. Paul. Dave, we had a bit of a test run on New Year's Eve. Uh, visitors were reminded that uh, backpacks were prohibited on the Strip when they arrived at the airport and then again when they checked in at their hotels. And you know what? It worked. More than 300,000 people turned out for New Year's Eve and there were only eight arrests. Officers in the crowd New Year's Eve report very few revelers ignored the request to leave bags and backpacks in their rooms, which was remarkable considering that's all it was, a request. For lack of a better term, in, in a way it was kind of a bluff because without an ordinance, if we had no way to enforce it. So if people showed up with backpacks, there was nothing we could do about it. Metro's now asking for an ordinance allowing them to take action against anyone who ignores the ban. We're looking mainly at backpacks and bags that um, could conceal items that could cause harm to people down there. Commissioners seem to support the idea. Susan Brager suggested hotels could once again play a role in getting the word out to guests. They have so many recordings when you're on hold. That'd be the perfect place is to do that during that time. Just a friendly reminder. There was some concern about logistics. What about tourists carrying shopping bags after making a purchase? Metro suggested giving them clear plastic bags. Public safety on these big events I think supersedes someone shopping at the mall. Tourists we spoke with don't have a problem with the idea. No, not at all. Definitely not. Well, I know the shops and everything, but you can easily just drop your bags back to your hotel if you want. We do that in Houston at our big stadiums. We have to bring clear purses and stuff like that. We can't bring bags like this and nobody seems to complain too much. Now, the bag ban would only be in effect during uh, big events when roads are closed, so there are densely packed crowds in uh, small areas. Commissioners agreed to move forward on this, write up an ordinance, fine tune it a little bit before voting on it, maybe in a couple of weeks. Live near the Strip, Paul Johnson, 8 News Now. Thanks, Paul.